Greetings my lovelies and thank you for stopping by The Circle today. This week's video, as I'm getting back into the swing of doing everything after my break, is just going to kind of show you what my day is like now that I'm not working. For those of you who don't know, I am a teacher so I have summer breaks off. But hey, EOG time frame in the last two weeks of school, we are on our summer vacation, okay? It's a cleanse from the year before. Anyways, let's get started. After a quick couple of weeks break to sort of just recharge everything, today is day one of my summer writing schedule, I guess is whatever you call it. As you can see, I am dressed to go to the gym because I'm not going to work, so I'm gonna have to do some more things to keep myself active instead of sitting on my butt all day long. So what I've done so far is that I have taken Papa's out, and now I'm about to head on down to the gym. So I will update you guys when I get done. A few moments later. I just finished my workout. Just about an hour, so I'm about to head home, shower, eat, dress, all that good jazz. Not a bad workout. I spent most of it, you know, doing cardio and some abs, and while I did that, I caught up on my author tubing, which I had been falling behind on. So, hey, win-win multitasking. See you later. And I'm back. As you can see, I have showered and changed. I'm in my normal recording spot, and if you're wondering what's on my head and why I'm supporting my Rebel Alliance, and my hair is kind of wavy curly so I don't always like to blow dry it because it can mess it up and especially on days that I'm lazy I just throw in some curling cream and wrap my hair up in a t-shirt so I can dry and I don't look like Hagrid's crazy cat lady cousin who likes to be electrocuted so Here's the jam for today. I am still waiting back from my last beta to get some information on of my block two, so I don't really want to start writing yet because I need to go back and edit block two and I don't like doing that without all my betas informations because why fix something twice? Yeah, whatever. So anyways, my goal for today like I'm finishing this shit today is I'm going to finish my scene outlines for the serpent's coils. I worked on it some last night and I think I'm like around chapter 20, 21, which is towards the end of act two. Like I'm about to hit the major shit right now. So my goal for today is to finish out scene outlining the rest of my book so that I can just write the rest of it in peace. So what we're gonna do, well what I'm gonna do today is just, you'll sort of see me do these things and then I'll take a break and I'll talk a little bit, you know, the typical things that you see all the, all the time. And yeah, so let's get going. What I tend to listen to when I write tends to vary on what I'm doing. When I'm outlining and editing, I kind of want upbeat music that I can jam to. And so lately, I have been jamming out to the Ruel station on Pandora. Although sometimes I'll have Netflix playing in the background. That is not going to be today because I can have zero distractions. Zero. I don't really have a set way that I do my scenes. I kind of use what can only be described as a bastardized version of an outline. The chapters are the main points and then I just kind of go down and out from there. If I have specific changes or something that I need to make sure that I remember, then I add that in. If I have dialogue that pops into my head while planning, that I think is put that in and then I'll reference like my other sheets to sort of keep myself on track. I roughly synopsis the whole series and every now and again when I get a little stuck and can't remember what happens next I have to go back and double check on it 
just layers upon layers to keep myself on the right track. As you can see, my hair is down so such time has passed. I was kind of so busy typing that I didn't realize that the battery died on my camera. So, whoops. Anyways, I am, well not here. I am on the last chapter for block two. This is the climactic push that gets us into the final act where Let's be frank, a lot of this shit happens. I know Act 1's kind of a little bit boring. It sort of sets up this whole world and, the, and her parameters and the training that she's gone through. Act 2 is her living in that, and Act 3 is basically where the shit hits the fan. Because this book, while it is somewhat standalone-ish, it is pretty much the vaulting part for the rest of the series. Because the way I had the story in my head is just simply too much to put into a single book. So we have five. Yay! <laughs> well, after I finish with this, it's about 12.30. So I'm going to finish doing this chapter because I'm kind of on a roll. And then I'm going to stop for a while, let out my puppies, and then kind of go run some errands for a while just to get away from the computer and get out of the house and pretend like I'm, I'm a functioning member of society. So I'm going to finish this up and then I'll get moving on. So let's go. Okie dokie to artichokies, that is the end of Act 2. Really, 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 really excited about it. I think it went really well. It kind of helped that, you know, Pandora kept playing like kick-ass theatrical music, so hey, yay. So like I said, I'm gonna go take my puppies out, and then I'm gonna go get away from the computer for an hour or two so that I can go run some errands and give myself a mental break. I'm kind of happy where I'm at, you know, when I get back I will be starting the Act 3 which is to me the most important part, not only because it's supposed to wrap up everything in the story, but this is where like a lot of shit drops. Like we learn some serious secrets that I am not going to go into because I really don't want to spoil it for anyone. So. I will get back to you when I get back to you. Deuces. Okie dokie, artichokies. I am back. It's almost 3 o'clock. I probably have another two hours of time before hubby comes back and it's time for around two of the gym. Yes, I'm trying to go to the gym twice a, get a day. I'm sitting majority of my day doing this stuff as I turn the computer back on. Anywho, so I rested, I bs I got out of the house a little bit. And so now it's time to get back started on outlining. I just finished block two. So now I get to do block three, which is a lot of action, which is a lot of fun, and I'm kind of moving the camera around, so I'm really sorry. So let me log in. Get my jams on. 
Ta-da! And get this party started. A few moments later. Honey bunny. Hello. He's at your gumpy cakes right now. But we are on for round two of the gym. I had to take a break at four o'clock because I hit the wall with the outline. And it was a little bit more of a tedious section after the, you know, the, the fallout from the big shit. So anywho, off to the gym we go. Huzzah! Goodbye! That was just a snippet into my day. I recorded that over the course of the day, as you can well see. And sadly, I did not finish the outline. I ended up watching a movie with a husband and falling asleep. That's life. I don't really adhere to a hard schedule during the summer. It's just sort of a generalized idea because I'm kind of terrible about schedules. When I when I'm not working. So that's it. That's my writing schedule during the summer. If you would like to see that for when I am working at school, please comment below. I'll add that to my calendar. And that is it. So I will be seeing you all more around the circle as I get back into it. Oh, before I leave, I'm such an idiot. I am starting a reading challenge for myself, but you are more than welcome to join in if you want to. And it's called Indie Summer Reads. Here's the hashtag. And basically what it is, is reading indie author books or indie publishers, you know, anything indie related, and reading and reviewing them in whatever format you do. I do vlogging videos, you may have an actual blog, or you do Instagram ones or Twitter ones, whatever it is. So if you want to participate, please use the hashtag below. It's not a contest for anybody else. This is just sort of fun, a way to spread the love because in all honesty, reviewing and getting these books out there and their little five minutes in the sun could be what it takes to help propel uh, a writer forward in this community. I have chosen the books that I'm going to read over these next two months for the, my indie summer reads. I am not going to announce it. It will just have to be a surprise. And depending on how fast I get through them, it may be 10 or more books. It just sort of depends. Anywho, that is all that I have for today. Make sure you check out all my other social media if you just see what I'm doing as I get back into things. Things are a little bit different. I'm trying out some new stuff and it's all that fun jazz. So, see you around the circle. And all my teacher friends, raise your glasses high and enjoy the party. Bye.